Hi guys, today's dollar deal are the pinhole styles. Now I'm just going to show you quickly how they work. This is a pretty easy set to utilize. It comes with styles and with brushes for you to um, best utilize uh, the style. Now the brush, there's um, different sizes. Some of them are set to be like, um, like if you would follow a path, which I think the set like that, you see how that is and it makes little pinholes. Now the pinholes are set to be either kind of that's if the pinholes are coming out like pushing from the back and um and there's various like um sets this would be also coming uh this would be coming from the other side so this would be going from the front to the back and then these are the ones that make it look like the paper has kind of like popped out from the front i love those those are the, those are my favorite for sure so there's um various little effects you can see there it's a pretty neat set of styles now i'm going to show you how you would use these let's say with um something like a pen or with staples so i'm going to go ahead i have this uh staple element here that i've been playing with and creating shading and i want to go ahead and um, create a pinhole now there's another brush it's a larger brush this is 50 um, pixels you can see there it's fairly large I'm just going to scale <laughs> scale that down that's funny it scales down all the uh, don't do that this is new um, <laughs> just the size up here so I'm just gonna scale down the size to kind of get a feel for um, what I want that to be doesn't matter what color currently because I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then apply um, the style to it and so then I have the little pinhole and there's a little guy like that. Isn't that cute? All right. So now we're going to do the same thing this time with the staple. I've zoomed in really close so you guys can see. Just creating a layer underneath my element. And I'm just going to um, stamp. Now the brush is set. So what happens is it rotates and then um, skews and stuff. So every time you press it, it looks a little different. So it doesn't look like the same thing over and over again, as you can see there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. And um, this time we're just going to go through the various uh, styles. Uh, so you can see what, again, what each one does and um, what you would like. So here we go. This is the first. And then there's like different lighting effects on these. That's a little stronger of an effect you can see there. Like I said, I love these. This That one's like my fave. <laughs> I love that one. All right. This is where it just looks pushed in. This is a softer push instead of a harder. This one has almost like a little puff kind of, I love, I also love this effect too. I think that looks really um, realistic. There we go. So that's what this is. This is a, a detail, what I consider to be like a, a detail sort of style where you're really trying to achieve that ultra realistic effect um, instead of just having the staple element and, you know, give it a drop shadow or a slight shadow and be done. This is a, all right, let's add the little holes that the um, would be in the paper, you know, so just a little bit extra. And also again, a really fun um, set with these extra brushes that you can see there you could um, make your own um, little accents so instead of t stitching um, just the little pinholes it, it looks pretty neat I, I like the effect a lot so hopefully you guys do too and enjoy today's deal I'll see y'all tomorrow bye bye